Well, it's official. He's married. <laughs> I felt like I'd just seen the Phantom of the Opera. And just when I thought I was safe. Hello. Hi. I ran into the man I'd been happy with for five minutes. I thought I might see you here. So where's Natasha? Well, she missed the boat. Dominic Dunn is holding my place in the bathroom. Big and I trapped together on a boat without dates. Who? So what was that back there? I don't know. Can we have a conversation anymore? Can we? Have you seen anyone? Or? I am. Where is he? I didn't want to subject him to the cold food and slime immediately. Just good to see you. You have one new method. Hey, Carrie, I'm here. <laughs> see you later. Okay. Well, that was very fast. What are you doing here? That was him, wasn't it? The perfect guy? Yes, it was, and he's coming back, so please. What do you want? I don't know. No. Go home to your wife. Go. I'm so fucked up. Harry, I'm here, on your corner. I know you're home. Pick up. I miss you. <laughs> I can't fucking stop thinking about you. There you have it. There it was. Exactly what I had needed to hear a year too late. Hey, hi. I'm working here. This is my boyfriend's booth. Can I um show you something in a hutch? Oh, it's just not really our style. Yeah, we only like teeny tiny furniture. This is um this is the designer. This is Aiden Shaw. Where's Paul Bunyan? If you're referring to my boyfriend, he's doing business. Ooh, he's a big one. He learned a will like that. How are you? I'm great. Daniel Boone, is he a nice guy? His name is Aiden. Where's your sense of humor? Where's your wife? She's got her eye on a beige chair. Everything in my apartment is now beige. It's bullshit. I'm supposed to feel sorry for that bitch. I don't. I thought you wanted beige. It doesn't quite fit. Have you got a smoke? I quit. We always used to share a cigarette together. We did a lot of things that were bad for me together. It's not working. <laughs> if you know anyone who's interested. You should really keep that to yourself. Hello? It's Carrie. <clears throat> yeah, thanks for calling. Look, it's about what I said about getting out of my marriage. I didn't know why I called. I didn't even know what I really wanted, but suddenly my heart was racing. I thought about it, and it's going to cost me a lot. So maybe you should forget about what I said. <laughs> I figure I made my bed. I should lie in it. You do that. Hello? I'm in the lobby. How did you know I was here? That guy at your place. <laughs> you called my house again? I have to talk to you. Yeah, I have to talk to you too. Stay in the lobby. I'll be right down. not the lobby. What are you doing? You're calling my house? You're, you're following me to hotels? Could you please sit down? You know, I don't have time for this. I have a boyfriend and a deadline, and you have a wife and apparently a drinking problem. We can make this work. Any more wine? I was an asshole to you on the phone the other day. When I said I was leaving, you didn't say anything, so I got nervous, so... Well, this has to stop this. The, the flirting and the, and the jerking me around and the calling my boyfriend. I want him to ever know about you. Why is that? Go lay in your beige bed. I miss you. Too bad. Don't follow me in here. I made a mistake. Fuck you. I love you. Fuck you. Fuck me. I lost Bruh. my head. Yeah? It's me, Carrie. How are you? Listen, uh, we need to talk about what happened with us. Right now? Right now. The thing is, it was just a physical thing that happened. We gave in to our baser instincts, shit happens, blah, blah, blah. Are you wearing glasses? No. You sound like you're wearing glasses. It can't happen again. You're married. I'm aware of that. Come on. It's pretty fucking amazing, wasn't it? I'm still a piece of garbage. We have to learn to rise above the physical stuff. You can learn to do that? We couldn't. I can smell the guy on your sheets. He doesn't wear cologne. Maybe he should. There'll be no next time. And then my addiction found me. I'm downstairs. If you don't come down, I'm coming up. Don't ever call me at home again. Walk. Do you know what your problem is? You want it all. You want the girl you screw me and the girl you go home to, her. That's bullshit. I just want you. I can't do this anymore. Sleep with two people at the same time. I'm gonna tell her tonight. What? I have a man who loves me, and you have a wife who loves you. Don't talk about him and her like it's you and me. You have no right to do this. You can't just come back into my life and fuck it all up. There are two people doing the fucking here, Carrie. Where are you going? Oh, oh, wait. Shit! Go home. Don't tell anyone. Don't do anything. <laughs> service.
know you can't just keep changing the time around like this. I have a schedule, too. Our affair, like our hotels, had gone from elegant with crystal to seedy with plastic cups. It's hot in here. It's hot, and the windows don't even open. I need air. You picked the hotel. I picked it because 56th and 8th is safe. I found myself back at the corner of 56th and safe. For sex? How much? If that's it, I'm out of here. That Japanese businessman thinks I'm a hooker. I had just finished making love to my married ex-boyfriend on his lunch hour at his apartment while his 25-year-old wife was sunning herself at the Hamptons. Could I feel any more like a hooker? Why do you keep doing that to yourself? I think we should stop seeing each other. Why? Hand me the phone. I'm gonna call her right now. You're gonna call her at the beach and say that you love me and you want a divorce? This is about that other guy. The other guy has a name. It's Aiden, and you have a wife, Natasha. And if you really wanted to tell her, you would have told her by now. What the fuck? You told me not to tell her. Here. If I make that call, are you gonna be there for me? Are we gonna do this, really? Out in the daylight. No cocktails, no hotel rooms, real life. Carrie, in or out? I need more time. I'm calling her Monday. I have to go. You know how to lay yourself out. Is she all right? She's scared and swollen. The parents are on the way. I have to go. Hey. I'll call you. Bitch, what the fuck? For what? We're so over. We need a new word for over. Carrie. Bruh. What? It's me. <laughs> she left. We ended it. Could we have lunch sometime? Well, I really need to talk to you. Please. Hello, you. I swore I would never be in this room with you again. I gotta ask you a question. Was it all my fault? It wasn't all your fault. Uh, that is not correct. We really screwed that up. What were we thinking? I should go. Don't you want to stay a while? I can't. Why? You and I are like that red wall. It's a good idea in theory, but somehow it doesn't quite work. Hey. Happy birthday, baby. I can't believe you actually got out of the car and got balloons. Ralph did. Good man. Now that Big and I weren't playing the dating game, we were free to just play, and it had never been better. Okay, then, Houdini. I'll walk you up. I think I got it from here. There'll be no... The next night, my ex introduced me to a tiny jazz club in the East Village. There I was, inches away from my ex-boyfriend, lusting after a bass player. Want another drink? Huh? <laughs> Apparently, everyone in the universe wanted me to define my relationship with Big. Ray King. Hi, I'm Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> um, oh. You had enough time? Well, yes. I'll call my car. This time of night, cabs are lined up outside. So then we'll take a cab. We'll take a cab. Okay. Cabs are bullshit. <laughs> Can I get your number? Yeah. Yeah. Six seven three nine. Yeah, I know. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Hey, okay. now he's gonna think we're together. You like the pork pie hat? That's not the point. He had some breath on him. All right. You gotta figure out what we're doing here. We're friends, how's that? What kind of friends? Friends who listen to jazz, friends who eat pizza, friends who... There will be no... Carrie likes jazz, man, jazz. All right, that's it, I'm going upstairs. Hello? You don't wanna hear that song I think of you? Oh, can you, can you hang on a second? Hello? What are you doing? I can't talk right now. What, you're on the other line? Yes, I am. Pork pie? I gotta go. Gary likes a jazz musician. Raisin, my first date. <laughs> you, you remember? Oh, yeah, hey, man. Oh, this is Shaw. Ba -da -ba. Listen, we're gonna go. Ray and I, we're gonna go first. <laughs> oh, see you later. Okay. I'm back in town. Call me, baby. I kissed Aiden goodbye and had a New York steak with my ex. And I love being with Aiden. I mean, there's no one in the world that I would rather be. Is it okay to talk to you about this stuff? Are you okay? Yeah, go ahead. I'm okay. If you ever meet someone, I want you to feel... I met someone. <laughs> oh. We talked. I uh, had a few... <laughs> Went up to her hotel. Dress comes off. Red. 
panties, kept her high heels on, I lifted her up, I put her on the bed. Okay, that's plenty. How's the stock market treating you these days? The thing of it is, I can't get her out of my head. I think I'm in love. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really. Hello? <clears throat> hey, man, it's me. Is Carrie there? Yeah, just a sec. Hello? I need to talk to you. We're about to go to bed. It's important. All right, he's having girlfriend problems. I'm gonna be just a minute. What's the problem? She hasn't gotten back to me. She can reach me, but I can't ever get her. Ever. How fucked up is that? Just Bruh. L listen to this message you left me. Oh, I gotta go to bed. Should I call her again? No. Good night. Hello? Hey. What's wrong? She broke it off. I'm so sorry. When are you coming back to the city? Monday. Fuck. I'd invite you out here, but it's just so far away. I have to see you. I'll come up for an hour, we'll talk, and then I'll head home. Why didn't you come in? I don't want to go in. Turn off the car and come inside, we'll talk, all right? Two bottles of red wine later, Big started talking. Any more wine? Yes, I better head back. You can't drive. You're not going to sleep on the couch. Uh, hey, lady, you need a ride? How have you been? Good, you? Very good. How are things with Country Pan? You know his name now. He's a very good there, too. What was that? I don't think you want to know. I bet I can handle it. I think he wants to marry me. You think or you know? I know. Not gonna happen. Let's not talk about it. He's not the guy for you. He might be the guy for me. I'm just not ready yet. You're never gonna be ready, baby. You're not the marrying kind. I'm not taking relationship advice from you. Well, look at you all dressed up. What can I do for you? Aiden and I broke up. Why didn't you call me? I got enough troubles. What happened? Apparently you were right. I am not the marrying kind. Hello? What's shaking, kid? Are you alone? Yes, ma'am. I can't sleep. I'm feeling a little lonely. Can I come over? Sure. To be clear, it's just to keep each other company. Get it while it's hot! I'm moving. I bought a vineyard. Moving when? Monday at 5. If I hadn't happened to call tonight, you were just gonna quietly go away without telling me? I'm not big on goodbyes. Who would have called you? You can't slink out of town this way. We have to do it upright. A proper goodbye. How's that wine? That night, after the rain, after the dinner, after the dancing, I took Big for a ride. New York. Aren't you gonna miss it? Dad, but I will miss you, kid. Very much. So... You leave tomorrow at five? How about lunch? I'll come over around two? I can't believe you're leaving me alone with a horse and buggy. Thanks for the ride, Prince Charming. Carrie. If I ever feel... But does anyone have a question? Hey, you. You look good. So do you, kid. Ooh, what? <coughs> it's crying. Let me kiss him, make it all better. We better go. Dinner reservations. Oh, I'm not hungry. I promised my partners I'd make a little vineyard connection with the restaurant owner, so <coughs> let's go. We'll have a nice meal and catch up. Okay. I had no idea that I hurt you so much. It was tough to see it in print. You read my columns? Not all at one city. That's fiction. Fiction. I embellished. It's all in the past. Now let's forget all that and talk about something else. You know that chapter about my apartment key? Was I really that big of an asshole? It was like the city itself. Cold, infuriating, and exhausting. That's what I'm talking about. When have I ever been cold? Am I cold? That, that was all years ago. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What, what, what? You were unavailable and very clear about that. It was all me. Now please, kiss me, or at least lie on top of me. It's very clear from this book that when it comes to me, you do not have good judgment. That's fiction, and it's not even a bestseller. Are you involved with someone else? No. It's the pimple, isn't it? I just don't want to do something here that I'll be sorry for later. I'm fine. Let's talk just a little more. No, no, look, page oh. 39. Thanks to my book, nothing was ever going to happen with Big. Hey. Where are you going? I have two book readings this morning before I head back to New York. Not so fast. Now? What about last night? All that talk, all those concerns. I just don't want to do something here that I'll be sorry for later. Fuck it. I was just drifting off to sleep when... Hello? Remember that red dress you had? I was sleeping. Alone? Yes. You woke me up. And when I slipped one strap down, the other would fall. Remember when I found you in your closet and just heels in a bra? I came up behind you and put your hands against the wall. Remember that? 
Yes. Well, hello there. Remember the time we were in the jacuzzi in the Four Seasons? Oh, you... Okay, okay. We won't be having any more of those calls. I started seeing someone. I think we have to leave all that in the past, but we'll stay friends. Friends? His name is Jack Berger. Okay, kid. Hey, give me a call sometime. Hello. Greetings from California. How's it going with that guy, uh, Hot Dog? Burger. Why do you ask? Because we're friends, and friends ask other friends how things are in their lives. We're great. Great. Moved in together yet? We're taking it slow. What's that mean? We're kind of taking a break. You're taking a break? A little break. I don't know why I told him. You're breaking up. No, we're not. Burger and I no, will fix- your cell phone is breaking up. I can hardly hear you. I'm having a little uh, heart thing done. <laughs> They found a blockage, so I'm getting a, uh, you know, angioplasty. <laughs> Come on, don't be such a sissy. She's fine. Could you bring some extra napkins and some violins? Uh, hello? Hey, kid. Oh, boy, there she goes again. Old waterworks. Oh, so sweet. She's worried about you. Hello, I'm outside a hospital. Hey, can I please be connected to room um, 817? That patient left the hospital this morning. <laughs> well. How'd you find me? I figured you were at the Four Seasons, and here you are. You're a candy striper. I guess this is what we'd be like in our 70s, huh? Seriously, kid, you and me, the early bird special? Are you okay? You're burning up. Here, come on, let's get in bed. What are we doing? I'm talking about us. Life's too short. Big's heart was finally unblocked. In fact, it was wide open. Hey, how are you feeling? Better. Hey. I'm fine. Bye. <laughs> Seriously, kid, you and me, the early bird special. Big's heart had closed again. Hey, kid. How's it going? Give me a call. Playing hard to get, huh? Hey, I want to talk to you. Call me. Carrie, it's me. Again. Did I do something to tick you off? If I did, call me and I'll apologize, okay? Deleted. Delete! Delete! Deleted. Carrie, I'm in town. I'd really like to see you, so call me. And in case you've forgotten, it's... If Muhammad won't come to the mountains. Hi. Can I talk to you? I'm late for dinner with the girls. It's 5.45. Come on, get in, it's cold. Raul, give us a minute, will you? I'm sorry for not returning your calls. I was starting to feel like a needy chick. Did I do something to piss you off? Get your motherfucking hand. I've just been busy with other things. Look, I know I freaked out about us the last time I was no, here. It's I fine. Wanted. And since then, I've been thinking a lot about Look, us. You don't have I to do this, it. okay? There's, uh, there's really no point. I have to go meet the girls. How about dinner tomorrow? Trinks? starting to feel like that chick again. I won't be here tomorrow. I'm leaving for Paris tonight. I'm going there with a man that I'm in a relationship with. I'm happy. So uh, please don't feel bad about anything. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean goodbye? I have to go. Carrie! Carrie, stop. What are you doing? Saying goodbye and jumping out of the car like that. Are you moving to Paris? What were you going to tell me? I may have to move to Paris. Really, nigga? What, you're not even going to tell me who he is? His name is Alexander Petrovsky. You're moving to France with a Ruski? Oh, come on, it's a joke. You do this every time, every time! What, do you have some kind of radar? Harry might be happy it's time to sweep in and shit all over it? You and I. You and I. Nothing! You cannot do this to me again! You cannot jerk me around! It is different. Oh, it's not. never different. It's six years of never being different. I am done. Don't call me ever again. Forget you know my number. In fact, forget you know my name. <laughs> You said you never wanted me to call you again, but I had to call. I figure at this point I've got nothing to lose except you. I love you. Hi. Forget you know my number. In fact, forget you know my name. I'm still in shock. This is so surreal. I mean, what? what? How did you even get here? It took me a really long time to get here, but I'm here. Carrie, you're the one. I'm going to sell my apartment and put the money towards heaven on fifth. You love your apartment. I know, but I want to make us a life there. I want it to be ours. It is ours. I bought it for us. You bought it. So really, it's your place. I have to be smart here. We're not married. I have no legal rights to this home. Did you want to get married? Do you want to get married? I wouldn't mind being married to you. Would you mind being married to me? No, no, not if, not if that's what you wanted. I mean, is, is that what you want? I want you. Okay. Really? We're, we're, we're getting married? We're getting married. Wedding crunch time. We need to get really serious here. Not now. I just got an email from our contractor. No. Wedding before contractor. Unless you're planning to invite him, which, which would make the guest list 201. 200? Jesus, Carrie, it went up again. 
How you doing on your bows? You're gonna be saying these in front of a lot of people. Right, oh, 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 I have to finish this. Oh, hey, yeah. I don't have time for this. You're not taking it seriously. No, no, I'm not. It is a circus. 200 people, page six. This is my third marriage. How do you think that makes me look? I didn't know that was even an issue. So why didn't you say anything sooner? You wanted all of this. Well, yeah, but don't you want- I want you. That's what I want. I could have just gone down to City Hall. <laughs> I think it's I think too late for City Hall now. Well, no, I wasn't no, suggesting. Was I was just I saying. Was just... See, that's the face I've been trying to avoid. Come here. Come here. <laughs> It was the night before the big day. There you are. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just tired, I guess. It's the last single girl kiss. I need to talk. I'm trying to write these vows. Is this something we really want to do? It doesn't matter. I don't want to screw it up. You won't. It's me and you. It's me and you. Hello? Could you put Carrie on the phone, please? It's Carrie, leave me a message. Carrie, leave me a message. Why haven't you called me back? Hey, it's Carrie, leave me a message. I need to know that it's still us. Just you and me. It's me and you. It's me and you. Hello? Are you okay? I've been calling you for an hour. Why haven't you been answering your phone? Where are you? I was out front. I just left. I can't do this. Bruh. He's gonna come! Get me out of here! What the fuck am I doing? Turn around, go back. Carrie! Carrie! I freaked out for a minute, but I'm writing. I'm about to beat this bitch up. I knew you would do this! Carrie, I'm sorry. I am humiliated! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Carrie, wait, I'm sorry. Carrie, no! I... No! There he was, and because Big still didn't have the words, he retyped a love letter from Beethoven, and Lord Byron, and John Keats, and Voltaire, The Love Letters of Great Men, Volume 1, plus one more, written by John James Preston. I was going to get these to you. I didn't want it to be a total loss. Brad, Brad, Brad. Why did we ever decide to get married? You bought it. So really, it's your place. I have to be smart here. We're not married. I'd have no legal rights. I guess we were afraid it would mean something if we didn't. Uh, that is not correct. I'm sorry to have done that to you. I'm sorry to have done that to you. Carrie Bradshaw, love of my life. <laughs> Will you marry me? Wait, Give me a kiss the bride. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? <laughs>